why not give a, a trailer a, a shot? I think this space is so cozy. We've kind of piecemealed everything together. Yeah, need some TLC for sure. Uh, I'm Zach. And I'm Arianne. This is our rig, oldie but goodie. She is a 1976 Shasta. Welcome to the kitchen. This is like my zone in the house. Um, we do a lot of cooking and this space is amazing for it. I love that like everything's within reach. Um, when I'm cooking, like I'll usually move the fruit bowl out of the way and I have full counter and can also use this as a cutting board or staging area. This stove um, is original and works on propane. It's wonderful and in every house I've lived in I have not gotten to have a gas stove so that's really fun. Um, the oven does not currently work. We think that we could fix it but right now we store booze in it so um, I don't know where we'd put our liquor cabinet if we started using the oven. Um, our water works when our water pumps on that runs from our 40 gallon tank that's under the bed so the fridge is not original unfortunately the original fridge broke right as we were moving into this full time um, and uh, someone replaced it with this sort of apartment fridge it's a 110 volt fridge which sucks um, is this fridge sucks all of our power um, what we really could use is a 12 volt fridge um, so we've been looking we'll probably try and replace this um, because a 12 volt fridge would just last so much longer on our battery we need an inverter to run this um, 110 maybe 120 volt fridge with that said, I love the setup of our fridge. Um, we have a separate freezer. We can keep ice cubes and ice cream in there. Um, and then our fridge, in terms of like how much food it can store, we could we can go two weeks probably. So um, all the cabinets are original. And my favorite thing about them is that they latch closed and stay closed. And that just came, like they had figured that out in 1976. Um, if you live in a van or thinking about some kind of rig, like put these guys on because I see people using like bungee cords and stuff to keep all their things in place. This is awesome. I'm obsessed with um, handmade mugs and I had this huge mug collection at home and when I was moving into RV full time I was like I need at least a few mugs and I need them to last. So um, we've glued down this like mug holder and we keep all of our breakable mugs in it and that like we use koozies double purpose to kind of pad it when we're driving so that they don't bang against each other. But so far, all of our mugs have survived um, our journeys. I feel like we have plenty of storage in the kitchen for absolutely everything we need. Like um, in this cabinet under the sink, it looks like a mess, but it's like we know where everything is but we have like every size pot and pan we have like all the colanders and different bowls and everything like we're not missing anything double sink i'm so glad we have so this is the original sink from the rv and it's so nice to have the two-sided i definitely recommend that um I do wish that our sinks were deeper. That would be really helpful. And we talk about it a lot that we would put in a deeper sink next time. I think the number one thing that would be most helpful is if we replace the faucet. So this is the original faucet. Um, and I know, I think one, I think it would look nicer to have something bigger, but it would also help us be able to get into like pots and pans better and to have that little spray feature that uses a little le less water. Um, so that's what I would recommend, but this absolutely works for us. So this is our little entryway area. We glued down or Velcroed down this box. Um, that's just, you know, when you come home and throw stuff in the, on the counter, everything in here has to have a place. And like, I think that's one of the things that is a little bit tricky about living in a rig is that like, you can't just throw stuff down. Like you have to put stuff away. So sometimes like, I feel like things just take longer in here because every step I also have to like clean up after myself but this box is allowed to be a junk box um we have we put this up to hang our keys so we don't lose our keys that's important to us our gumball machine was in our old house it has um m&ms in it that have been like shaken to death uh, I want to fill it up with sometimes I think about filling it up with gumballs or sometimes dog treats but if anyone has ideas um gumball machine needs to be filled and then we definitely have our junk drawer um just like pens tape 
um, headlamps, batteries, paper clips, that kind of thing. And then this is our dog cabinet. So dog food, dog treats, dog toys, um, all live in that cabinet. We were living in Denver, Colorado for six or seven years, um, working nonprofit jobs. I was a manager at a nonprofit, um, doing some pretty intense trauma work. And Zach had a few different like consulting gigs. Um, we had a really great community there, but the grind got to us. Just working really hard and living paycheck to paycheck, and um, you know giving our wages to someone that owned the house we were living in and um, we needed a change. Um, I always say like I don't think I can ever go back to sitting at a desk for 40 hours a week. I needed to know what other options exist. Like we need to live life differently. We were pretty burnt out. Um tapped out we were just kind of in a rut spinning our wheels and and um, needed a change needed to do something different and, and so um, we thought you know I, obviously this this whole endeavor is a huge exercise in, in privilege you know um, all, all sorts of, of uh, advantages that, that we have I mean a lot of folks um, don't feel comfortable uh, traveling and, and we've been fortunate enough to travel a lot for, for work and for play so you know we feel comfortable um, living out of, of backpacks and cars and so uh, you know we figured why not give a, a trailer a, a shot. This is our bedroom. This is why I call the rig Cozy Town. I think this space is so cozy. Um, I, my favorite thing is being parked in the woods, um, in the forest, maybe it's like a little rainy or misty and it's just like candles on in here and so cozy with books and our dogs, that's the best. Um, so we have, this is a full size, full size mattress, like regular house mattress, um, which is comfy. We obviously wish that we had like a king size bed, it's us and two dogs, but um, again, this makes it cozy, cover it in pillows. Um, originally there was like I think an RV mattress here and like living in this full time we just knew we wanted a real one so um, yeah we just took the mattress the full size mattress from our house and put it right in just yeah kind of squeezed it it works well um, this quilt my mama made for me and I think totally vibes with our rig that makes me really happy so our shelf here um, everything on this is like either velcro double-sided tape or putty so everything here stays still while we're driving which is amazing this pink flamingo is like the centerpiece of our rig um actually we had already wallpapered the bathroom and everything when i found i knew i wanted something like lit, lit up like that and i found that at a goodwill outlet it's amazing up here is our dresser um so this is where we store all our clothes we have so many clothes in this rig it's absolutely absurd um we like clothes and like self-expression i got rid when i moved into a rig full time i got rid of maybe eight like full garbage bags of clothing i thought i was bringing so little in here and then as soon as i like put it in these bins and everything i it was just overflowing with clothes so i've been getting rid of clothes since i moved in here but i still have like everything I could ever need. And then um, on this side, we each have a little basket that kind of is like our nightstand where we keep like our chapstick and our sleep masks and our journals and things like that. Um, our baskets aren't glued down, they just stay in place when we drive. So some of my favorite features of our camper, we wallpapered the ceiling. Um, so this is peel and stick wallpaper. Uh, we wanted a really like funky, groovy, bright, vibrant, um, fun pattern so we picked this out on etsy and um it was both difficult to install and fine to install we did it we installed this wallpaper at like 2 a.m because um zach comes alive then <laughs> so we were like in the nighttime doing this but we absolutely love it it's held up really well so far so for cooling um we just have this vent fan it's a 12 volt vent fan um 
it's newer, but I think originally there was a spot for a vent fan here. Um, and then we have a fan that we plug in and runs off of our inverter that we keep by our bed. Um, and there's one more vent fan in the bathroom. It's mostly worked well for us. We don't have an air conditioning or any, anything. We mostly boondock, so that wouldn't work. So for heat, we have still the original furnace that came in the rig and it works super well. So it runs off of propane. Um, we've spent the fall here in New England and it's gotten really chilly. Um, we have only, I think it goes up to like level five or seven. We've only ever turned the heater up to like two or two and a half. Um, so there's a lot more that we can get out of it. I think my favorite thing about the furnace is that I always say it takes the edge off. Like when we come home and it's super chilly in here, if you turn on the furnace then like within three, four minutes, you're kind of okay to like take your jacket off and things like that. Um, so welcome to the entrance to our rig. We have a friend who built um, this little deck for us. Um, and then an entryway mat is essential. And uh, one of my favorite parts about our rig is that our friend, um, Aaron DeLuca, painted this amazing mural of a snake, like slithering all the way across the floor of our rig. So um, we were going to put down um, a wood floor like a lot of folks do but when we had decided to keep all of this original wood paneling we didn't want to add more wood to the space um so we just went for painting right over the linoleum i think it was a linoleum floor um we used a primer and then like regular house paint and then we put a lot of layers of polyurethane on top um we're not like i bet the floor won't last forever maybe we'll have to repaint it or do something else to it someday but for now um, it's totally dope so we we went back and forth and and uh we we had like a launch date of of june 2022 in mind and we'd we'd had that in mind for a long time uh because uh, you know at that point Ariane would have put in in five years uh at her job and so we had that date in mind but the closer we got to it the more we felt like oh man we're just not gonna we don't feel ready we don't feel prepared we don't have you know everything ready for for launch and we finally just realized that like there's never a perfect time um you kind of just have to do it and um we were naive as hell uh, still are you know still figuring things out on the go so i my advice to anybody that's that's thinking about doing it um just just trust yourself this is this is a choice that we're making we're choosing to live this way right like convention doesn't work for us and uh, you know regular sort of nine to five is, was never going to work for me but uh, again right like being able to make that choice and 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 choose to do something alternative um, something different. I mean, there's that's a huge luxury. So this is the bathroom. Uh, it's prob probably my favorite room in the home. Uh, I spend a lot of time in here. Um, it's like seriously, I love this toilet. It's an amazing toilet, uh, and it cost us quite a bit of money. <laughs> we had to replace it recently. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like a, a tiny little space, but it's a functional space. Uh, you got a little sink in here. Um, you know, we've got our, our uh, medicine cabinet, which is very functional. Um, there's a, f you know, a full ass bathtub and shower in here. Um, so it kind of, you know, squatty potty. We had to get a thinner squatty potty because the, the squatty potty we had was like too bulky. So, you know, just little things like that you got to think about, I guess. A everything that, that we're, you know, that you're looking at is uh, original. Um, I mean, like the, the whole bench is, is original. Um, this, you know, this table setup is, is original. Um, all of the cabinetry uh, is, is original. Um, so su super impressive that, that it's, uh, it's as resilient as it is, it's still functional, uh, and really well designed. I mean, it's got, we've got all sorts of storage here. Um, so, you know, move cushions out of the way and we have access to, you know, our yoga mats, um, you know, move those cushions out of the way and there's extra, uh, linens. Um, I think under where I'm sitting right now, we've got extra dog food. Uh, okay. So... 
Uh, we've kind of piecemealed everything together. Uh, what we've got are two 12 volt uh, glass mat batteries. If I had it to do over, I'd probably just splurge on the lithium because uh, you can run those suckers all the way down. Uh, if we go below 50%, um, then we are damaging our batteries and we definitely do that from time to time. Uh, but so far, knock on wood, they seem to be working uh, decently. So yeah, we've, we've got the two 12 volt glass mats. Um, that powers everything in our rig and what powers it are our solar panels. Um, we have this uh, flexible panel here or this, this portable panel. I think it's 200 watts, maybe 300. 200 or 300 watts. Um, this thing is super lightweight. It's easy to move around um, in and out of the car. Uh, we had a heavier one and uh, I'm so glad that we, we upgraded to this thing because um, it helps us kind of track the sun and, and get as much light as possible. Uh, we're up in, in New England here and the days are getting shorter and the sun is hard to come by. So that's a nice piece of equipment. Uh, and then otherwise we do have two panels on our roof, um, two 90 watt panels. Uh, those are Renogy panels. They're decent, um, they're flexible panels and the person who installed them um, didn't really know what they were doing and we didn't really know what we were doing either. Um, so make sure that you, if you put something on your roof, give it ventilation. Uh, we are learning that the hard way. So apparently our panels won't last as long as they uh, otherwise might because they don't have ventilation. If we think about a lot of people who might buy a vintage rig, maybe they're taking it on like two to three weekend trips in a summer, right? And so then those repairs are going to happen over a couple of years. But with us driving it almost every day, um, yeah, it needs some TLC for sure. Thanks for um, visiting us, spending some time with us. Um, it's been fun showing you our space. Yeah, and if you want to follow along our journey, we are on Instagram and TikTok. It's with love and dirt, um, with dots in between every word, with dot love dot and dot dirt. And hope to see you there.